you said that. Your yeah. dentist does. Have you been? Have you seen the commercials rather for Best Buy Electronics? trade-in program. It sounds like a great deal until you read the fine print. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us the pros and cons of trading in your gadgets so you don't waste your money. Now that many people are upgrading their cell phones and laptops almost every year, the question comes up more and more, what do you do with your old one? Well, the good news is that more and more stores will now take it as trading. Remember that really cool flip phone you had? Electronics are advancing so rapidly, many of us are now holding onto old phones and gadgets we no longer need. Enter Best Buy. I'll, I'll, I'll take it from there. In its Super Bowl ad featuring Justin Bieber, the retail chain has just launched a new buyback plan where it will give you up to 50% when you trade in a cell phone, TV, or laptop. Radio Shack also offers a limited trade-in program. GameStop takes used games and consoles. And the granddaddy is Gazelle, an online buyback service. I tested it last year, and Gazelle paid me 25 bucks for my old digital camera. But from the Doesn't That Stink file, the catch with some of these programs, you have to pay an average of $50 just to sign up for Best Buy's trade-in plan. Many online blogs are saying, doesn't that stink? Plus, you get payment as a Best Buy gift card. That's why you may want to shop around before shopping your used cell phone. Of course, for the most money, you can sell your old gear on eBay, but that is labor-intensive if you're not a regular eBay seller. You know, you have to collect money, ship it, and possibly deal with unhappy customers. These programs give you convenience, and that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.